And joining us for the last time this season is our superstar tipster, Nick Burney. Welcome back, Nick. Yeah, it's good to be back, guys. Last day of the carnival, seven metre rail, soft five. I think they'll probably just want to edge off the fence as the day goes on, but it's going to be a great meeting. I'm against a few favourites, so I'm ever going to go Ooh, home Nick. having a good day or licking my words. Hopefully we, we can get some cash nice and early. I've got a roughie in the first race. Oh, you've got a very good eye. <laughs> so what about yeah. race four, uh, the Frank Packer Plate? This is, a, this is a good race. Yeah, with that said, this is my lock of the day and the best bet. It is around that $2.50 mark. So this is the favourite I want to stand out on the meeting. It is the Chris Waller trained Tannhauser. Now, this is the perfect Chris Waller profile horse. He gets out to the 2,000 metres. So it's number five there in the red colours and the yellow stars. And on this day, they just went at a, a good even clip. But as you can see, it's such a big field. He's had to get way too far back, too much to do. When you see him come down the centre of the track, he actually runs one of the fastest final 200 metre splits of the whole entire meeting. So yes. Zach Purton rode this day. James McDonald goes on. And I'll just show you again, that horse in the red, really hitting its straps late. But... He gets a good barrier today. So what you're going to see is James McDonald really take a position and probably be handy midfield. This was over 1,600 metres, and it just screams as a horse that wants 2,000 metres. Now, I really like that margin there to fifth. That just kind of confirms the quality of the race. So I think he's your lock of the day if you want to play him in the multis. Um, or even take that $2.50 mark. I think he's a great bet. Great aerial shot there too. Um, you've also got Faulkner Park in race six. Yeah, so this horse, it actually kept me up last night because I was worried about the rain. <laughs> I was like, don't, not too much rain. So he gets a soft five. He's the horse in the orange and black colours, just coming to the outside. Now, this was an Albury Cup, um, but these Albury Cups, the cup racing in country New South Wales is such a big event mm. these days because they get a ticket to the $3 million big dance in the spring carnival. He was heavily back this day. He started at $1.80. But just have a look at him let down here. He's got acceleration. So the horse he go, the race he goes in today is a lot of these horses are a little bit one pace. They're quite dour types where he's the one he gets down to 53 and a half kilos. And when horses get down to that weight, they can really sprint hard. So he's got the closing speed. I really liked his late work, 2,000 metres again. A really nice draw. Tyler Schiller, who's riding in fantastic form, mm -hmm. sticks with the ride as well. So they got a great affiliation. Yeah, I wonder two. if he's been on the Kentucky Fried Chicken this week. <laughs> yeah, now, that's um, right. The All Age Stakes, this is a very competitive race. Yeah, outstanding race. So the TJ usually is the lead up to this race, but I'm just looking a little bit of a different form line here. And again, same colours as um, the horse we saw before, but in the orange and black here is Southport Tycoon. Now, this is one of the hottest form races of the Oldham Carnival. So you see Riff Rocket in the purple colours. It's come out and won two Group 1s. The other horse in the inside is V8. It also has won the Group 1 um, George Ryder. So Southport Tycoon, this is the Australian Guineas, went to a career peak this day. He's been in Sydney, and Kieran Mars actually said in, he's probably better on his Sydney leg as well. So that gives me a little bit of a tick there. He's had the two trials, keep him up to the mark. Around the $6.00. I thought he was a really nice bet in the feature race today. Jeez, Kieran Mars having a good season too, isn't he? He's absolutely flying. Uh, and also, race one has caught to your Yes, attention. hopefully we can start the day and get the cash early. So this horse all the way down the back here in the red and yellow um, stripes there. So always sure for Sarah Ryan. This was first up, new stable for her this day. They drew one of the wide gates. So uh, Molly Burke rode this day. She snagged him back to last. It was probably just the run he needed to... To the eye, you think this horse is closing OK, but when you really break down its slate splits, it actually has the fastest finishing speed of the whole entire race. Barrier three today, so it's a little bit like Tannhouse. It's going to be a lot closer. Um, Molly's been riding fantastic, but they put Tim Clark on today, who is a Group 1 winning jockey. I think this looks a little bit of a set play and a nice little bit of work there past the post. 18 to $20. Hopefully we can start the day with a bit of a bang. That'd be yeah, nice. OK. Let's well, uh, it's going to work if graphic. you do. <laughs> oh, there we go. All eight stakes, race four, race six, race eight and race one for Nick. Take I'm, a screenshot of that. I'm going to take a Hold photo of that right up. now. Uh, yeah. I'm not a very good photographer, but ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> here I go. I'll take a screenshot. Oh, I'll take a screenshot of us. <laughs> <laughs> I've taken a screenshot of us. <laughs> All right, it's multi-time. It's multi-multi-time. Yes. Multi -time. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, this is a great way to, uh, and, you know, bet with your head not over it, but have a little bit of fun, you know, yes. have a little bit of fun with the races, a little bit with the footy. Of course. Uh, which way have you gone, Nick? I'm going to go Tannhauser for the win, also Faulkner Park at the place. And, of course, my beloved Broncos. Come on, let's get another win back on the board. We've been injured this year, but... I, know. I think we're going to peak oh, late. I, I like your it. I like your Brisbane Broncos, yeah. mate. You may just win the whole grand final this year. Um, what about you, Jules? Mm, uh, 
Um, this week, I have gone for Lion Backer in the Lion Backer, I should say, in the Champagne Stakes, the Knights and the Sharks. Uh, whatever I've put here in terms of NRL, forget it. Go the opposite because I'm having a shock of this round. Yeah, I agree with you. I think the Knights will beat the Bulldogs, but I've uh, I've gone for Manal. Having a look at my multi, there it is. I think that Michael Friedman will get the win in the Champagne. Uh, I think Penrith, and this is not going to make Darren Flindell all that happy, but I think Penrith will get the chocolates against the Tigers out there at Bathurst and Newcastle will be too god too good for the Bulldogs. Um, <laughs> my brothers, the Bulldogs. Well, um, they've mixed their form, haven't they? So I'm sure that's why you and I have both gone for Newcastle with Caelan Ponga out the back. Mm. Yes. Well, it's been a great season. Thank you for joining us. You've done exceptionally well with the tips. I have some very happy colleagues who like <laughs> your tips each and every week. And we'll see you in the spring. Nah, thank you, Julie. Thank you, Tim. And hopefully everyone has a good day and, and backs a few winners. Yeah, we'll see you for the springtime.